preparing for act let's understand when you need to apply for act most of the students apply for act when you are looking for admissions to sciences so when you are looking about the stem science technology engineering and maths act is the exam that you would have to appear for for colleges in us and canada now what is a relative score that you need to understand for act versus sat now sat you have a score point from 400 to 1600 ect gives a composite score of 1 to 36 it's believed that a score about 26 is considered as a decent score to get admissions into good universities however a 36 on act would be equivalent to 1600 on sat and that shows 100% 100 percentile so what is very very important when you are choosing your examination is knowing the basics of the given examination so act is conducted seven times a year in united states however outside united states and canada it is conducted five times a year only in the state of new york it is not conducted in the month of july again this is an examination that was produced or that started after your sat was released sat is mainly a scholastic aptitude test but this test consisted originally of english math social studies and natural sciences natural sciences came as a division from the students who were willing to go for natural sciences rather than social sciences and the section for reading was slowly and gradually converted into reading for natural sciences where there was much of data analysis that was required to appear for the Uh, sciences and in 2005 you had an optional writing that was included as a part of act syllabus now under act you would have english which is 45 minutes with 75 questions that are there the next section would be your mathematics section where you would have 60 minutes and with 60 minutes you would have 60 questions that you would have to attempt your reading section would have 35 minutes and you would have 40 questions to attempt the science section would have 35 minute with 40 questions to attempt now what is very very important is time is short so time is short in act that means you have more number of questions and sometimes you have to produce nearly double the number of questions in one minute rather than attempting one question in one minute you have to attempt nearly one and a half or two questions in one minute which is a significant proportion now what are the kind of topics that you need to understand let's say when it comes to english usage of sentence grammar mechanics sentence structuring uh, rhetorical skills are important when it comes to mathematics arithmetic basic algebra geometry are also part of sat and part of act here but here what is given undue importance is trigonometry and probability section when it comes to reading you would have four question four sections three of those would contain long prose and one of that would have a short passage that would be there the idea would be to understand the key aspects the structure of the question the integration of the knowledge and uh, the narrator's voice is something that you would have to understand and comprehend when it comes to sciences you would have data representation research summary as some of the key things that would be part of the paper so you would have seven passages now they have shifted to six passages but the idea would be you would have three passages let's say on research summary uh, you would have five passages along or around five to six passages that would be related to data representation and one passage that focuses on a conflicting viewpoint whether this is correct or not and then you would have an optional writing paper which is 40 minutes where you would be asked to produce your own prompt produce your Your own response regarding certain issue now when a university is picking a candidate they would be seeing all your act scores so don't think that you would have to produce the best act score that you have appeared for produce all the scores that you have appeared for and in most of the proportion 
फिफ्टी परसेंट स्टूडेंट्स आर एबल टू डू बेटर इन द नेक्स्ट टाइम दे अपियर फॉर एन ए सी टी एग्जामिनेशन नियरली ट्वेंटी परसेंट ट्वेंटी थ्री परसेंट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स रजिस्टर अ डिक्लाइन वेन दे अपियर फॉर अ सेकेंड ए सी टी टेस्ट सो इफ यू आर गिविंग यूर ए सी टी इन रिपीट बी वेरी वेरी श्योर वॉट यू नीड टू टेक केयर अबाउट अगेन वेन यू आर अपियरिंग फॉर वेरियस कैटेगरीज you have to see whether you are in a highly selective criteria or not so any score above 34 is an excellent score you would be able to get into top 10% of the graduating classes uh, from a score of 27 plus so 27 plus is a score where you get into top 10% of the graduating classes and 25 plus is a score where you get into top 25% of the top graduating schools now here Here is the uh, criteria that we have already discussed for the various uh, subjects that is there. Now, as we can see, the time that you have per question is very very less. Specifically in English, you would have nearly thirty six second that would be given per question. So nearly you have to appear two questions in one second. So definitely speed is paramount. Speed is very very important. All maths questions can be attempted with calculators. Calculators are allowed in your ACT examination. That's very very important to know. as we said science includes not basic fundamental questions about science but questions relating to data uh, representation questions relating to research summary questions relating to related to uh, conflicting viewpoints are some of the things that helps you evaluate and analyze the complex situations and that's very important part of your science when it comes to writing as we said writing is much more opinion based you have to have a clear picture into mind before bringing your ideas and opinions in your writing the registration for the examination is nearly 5 to 6 weeks ahead of your examination date as we said it it ha it can be uh, you can appear for it seven times in a year so you have ample of chance when to give your act be well prepared and a month ahead you have to fill in your forms the charges for act are around uh, 45 47 or something so that converts in around 7000 uh, in a, uh, indian currency so that's the tentative amount that you have now what are the key things that you need to look for when you are appearing for your act examination so first is you have to be good at geometry trigonometry probability algebra the advanced algebra is very very important the second is uh, the third important thing is the reading comprehension the reading passages do not have a chronological order so it's a little difficult in contrast to sat where you have a given chronological order that is there act has no other option but all questions are mcqs maths has five choices so you have five choices that is there evidence support questions are totally absent in act so you do not have a single question which is based on evidence support uh, like that which has been a part of the syllabus for act uh, there is no question which is on evidence support in act questions the flow is random uh, you have to decide Uh, the correct content the correct order in your own unique way specifically for reading comprehension and as we said science does not have direct questions rather it has passage based questions so understanding the concept the research proposes the research summary and analyzing and evaluating it focusing on the conflicting view point understanding that view point is very very important in case of act we would be coming up with many more important sessions for act and sat stay tuned with our channel for many more updates on these topics have a wonderful day